be cooking duck, roasted duck in the oven. So right now I have my duck soaking and I'm about to pull out the guts and all of the insides. But today I have a guest who's going to be helping me and that's going to be Nira again. She'll be coming on soon to make her look cooking segment on my show to make some of her good dishes. So um, let me show you my okay. guys. Um, this recipe is going to be real simple. I'm using seasoned salt instead of um, regular salt. I'm just going to add some pepper, a little basil, some paprika, some onion powder, and I'm using a real onion. Now, you could add garlic or celery, and you can also stuff the duck with oranges, apples, or anything like that that you would like to stuff it with. So when I come back, we'll be taking the insides out of the cavity of the duck. Okay, guys, we're back. Now, here's my duck, and Nira's about to take the turkey, I mean, not the turkey, the damn duck's neck out and the package out. So we can start rinsing the inside out. And I'm also, but I probably won't show this, but I'm going to cut this little part off with my little shears and probably cut some of the neck flap out. But we'll go on let Nira dig on in. Because <laughs> I was trying to get it out. I couldn't get it out. And I really kind of hate touching that stuff. But now that I got older, I done got used to trying to dig that mess out. Because it's kind of, and it's been sitting out for a day. Oh, there it is. The oh, the long the turkey neck. neck. I mean the, the duck, duck neck. neck and then yeah. that little package and now when we come back I'll have it all rinsed out and I'll be ready to season it or I already have it seasoned but how she have it open like that I'm going to stick seasoning all off in there I'm going to stick some of my onions in there and if you had celeries apples or oranges that would be good and I'm also going to poke some holes in here to try to let some of the fat come out so when I come back I have it ready okay, to season guys, I'm soaking my duck a little bit but I wanted to tell y'all that the Peking duck is also called the Long Island duck. And it's the most popular duck to eat. It, if, if you never had duck, it has a tender, mild flavor. And it's not really that gamey as other duck. Now, for those who never tried the duck, you might want to know that it's kind of... A duck has like a strong flavor, but not overpowering. Um, the taste of the dark meat, it kind of tastes like the dark meat on the chicken thigh. And the duck really has an amazing flavor. So when I come back, I'll have it seasoned. Okay, we're back now. We're getting our duck ready. So Nero's about to cut some of this flap from his neck off because we don't really want all of that. And then we're going to try to cut that little part where his little butt was because nobody want to eat that little part, even though they'll eat it. But when we come back, uh, we'll be getting ready to season this little duck. Okay, guys, we done cut the duck. I done cut the parts off that I didn't need, so now we're getting ready to finally season it. But before I start, I'm going to press some little holes in it to try to, when it starts to cook, to let some of the flavor come out. So I'm just going to put some holes in it, and I might go back and put a couple of more. Another thing, too, is you want to cook your duck breast side up. So let's get started with the seasoning. I'm going to hold it, and I'm going to let Nira uh, sprinkle the seasoning in so I won't be cross-contaminated because I hear a lot of people complaining about other folks when they touching raw meat and touching their seasonings. So we're going to start with the inside. So near, we're using the seasoning salt. So season it real good in there. And then uh, let me flip it over and you can... Boy, his legs is wide open. <laughs> Do the other side. And then put the onion powder, the black pepper... And you want to get the inside real good. And this will be good if you put the apples and oranges because I've tried it that way also. But today I'm just doing it basic because I'm making dressing. And put a little black pepper in there and the onions. And then we're going to get the um, onion out and a little paprika. Put a little basil in there. I only have a little basil. But I said since I like basil on chicken, I never had it on duck. So the basil is something new. And then pour a little olive oil in his butt too. <laughs> Stick a little olive oil off in his butt. Since we didn't really cook nothing for Christmas, that's why we're making this duck. We really wanted to try it. I have made it several times in the oven. And it was good and roasted. Just squirt a little bit in his butt. And then get the onions. And stuff some off in there. And then we'll start seasoning the outside. Stuff some onions in there. And I know for a lot of people who hadn't had duck before, it really kind of tastes like the dark meat like they say on chicken. It's real good and flavorful and 
duck is a little better than chicken uh just a little more onion a little it's a little more flavorful than chicken but it kind of tastes like dark meat of chicken if you have that but it has to be seasoned right now here you can season the outside with the seasoning salt and this is a five pound turkey that we said was six pounds i keep calling it a dang turkey a duck it's six pounds so you're gonna do 30 minutes for each pound so this should cook in my oven for about three hours put a little more on the uh top and then here let me get the wings and turn it on the side and do that side and let's get the other side it's really not that big i don't have too many people trying some and then put the onion powder and the other seasonings on there but you want to try to season it real good if you can but it's really, really a good little meal. It's kind of a little more pricier than chicken. But it is good. I bought this also at Aldi. It was $14. So it really wasn't that bad to me to spend, I don't guess. But I got it at Aldi. I was looking at them at other places, and they were a little more expensive. And when I saw $14, I said, boy, we're going to try this out. And I know um, the salt and pepper is the normal way I do it. I have used the seasoning salt the lorries and I kind of prefer that and I've also used my Cajun seasoning so it just depends on what you're trying to go for and then another thing I forgot to mention is you want to keep it on a rack <coughs> oh, excuse me this seasoning uh, you want to try to keep it on a rack because when the duck starts to um, roast I mean cook all the fat oh i even know some of my onions came out but i put them back in there some of the um fat well most of the fat will start to drain and you don't want your good duck sitting in all that fat so you like to cook it on a rack if you can now one day we're gonna make one in a crock pot because i believe my crock pot can make this more tender but one thing you want to make sure if you have a rack or something or some kind of way to keep it from sitting out in that grease to keep it on a rack and once again it's only 30 minutes per pound they have this little thermometer in there too so when the breast is at 180 that's when it's supposedly ready but i'm gonna cook mine for right at the three hours like they're saying or maybe three hours and 30 minutes because nobody wants nothing undercooked and then we drizzle some olive oil on it and I don't know if I should rub it in. Probably not. <laughs> and another thing with me punching those holes in there. Oh, I got my dang knife off in here. Um, when it flavor, because I want as much of this seasoning and flavor to get off in here. And it should be nice. And Now you can put the other onions on top or in there. Let's put the other onions on there. So when we come back, it'll be three hours later, and we'll show you the ending result of our roasted duck. Okay, and guys, it's been about three hours and 30 minutes. Um, I left it in there a little, for about 15, 20 minutes, so the outside could get a little more brown. So this is my ending result, and I know a lot of people like for you to cut into it, so I'm going to cut it so you can see guess I'll cut on this side and it's real tender I'm gonna cut a piece off but it's super tender and it smells good Nira did you want to try it see you can get the fork and tell everybody in YouTube world what does it taste like and you don't have to lie but it smells real good let me try a little piece because it's real hot and we just got it out It tastes good. good. Well, thanks for watching.